morning everybody my name is Gigi and you are watching Anime Palooza. Today it's time for day number one of the 12 days of anime so let's hit that intro music shall we? On the first day of Christmas I probably shouldn't sing. I don't know. Is this pretty festive? I mean, I got red on in my Freddy Krueger sweater. It's actually from Orphan Black, but I've never seen Orphan Black, so I'm just going to pretend that it's super happy, fun, festive Christmas time. But we're not here today to talk just about Christmas. We're here to start the 12 days of anime. Today is day number one, and I would be remiss if I did not mention a bunch of these cool little moments in anime, manga, light novels, whatever. Well, there's no light novels in my list. It's just basically anime, manga, and my YouTube channel. Because, you know, this is how the 12 days of anime sometimes works. So today we're going to be talking about Diabolic Lovers and Dance with the Devils, but mainly we're going to be talking about how cool it was that I got asked to be in a podcast, and it's called Dub Talk. <laughs> For all you Dub Talk fans out there, it is the brainchild of Lilac Anime Reviews, and she usually has a very tight posse of people who she podcasts with. Megan, Hardy, Noah. But I was lucky enough to be asked, not once, but twice, to guest star on their podcast. Once to talk about Diabolic Lovers because apparently <laughs> I'm the only person who owns it and likes it for reasons that I have discussed in gross detail in other videos along with that Dub Talk episode <laughs> and I was also asked to take part in Dance with Devils because it's another reverse harem and we were gonna do a girls night and then we got challenged to do like the boys and the girls mixed together. So that's how that came about. Six of us in a podcast kind of awesome. Guest starring on these podcasts, number one, was really awesome because I love how YouTube as a community comes together, especially the anime community. It seems like everybody's always helping each other out and there's not a lot of people who are like hating unless they're trolls, but you know, trolls will be trolls. I bet you have rainbow hair, so well, not as cool as my rainbow hair, but still lame ass, lame ass rainbow hair, you trolls. Anyway, it was really nice to be asked to take part in this project and the best part about it was that it was super fun. It was really great getting to know Megan because I didn't know her before and to get to talk with everybody as all of our ideas and jokes and super happy fun times came together. All of our dirty little secrets also it seemed like in order to talk about English dubs for anime. It used to be such a polarizing subject like everybody's like the sub is better, English dubs blow. And it's come to my attention that I really don't want to buy anime unless it has an English dub that comes along with it. And you know, we can watch stuff streaming everywhere. There's so many legal streaming sites that we can watch Japanese subtitled anime. But the dub, it's something that deserves a little more respect because usually as a consumer we have to pay to get them. There are clearly different levels of pay <laughs> that the dub actors get to have. Uh, depending on the title of the anime. Doing these little things helped me to find my favorite voice actors and actresses. Ian Sinclair, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, got my eye on you. I can't have a video without mentioning that if Viz doesn't outsource J. Michael Tatum to play his Soka in the Hunter Hunter dub, I'm gonna riot. I said it before, I will start a Kickstarter to pay his wages myself if you cannot afford him, because he is just awesome and the only one who should play that role ever in English ever, 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 ever. So yeah, doing these things has enabled me to get to know more outside my little little comfort zone. I set myself in the nose. Doing this has made me think about female voice actresses a little bit more as well. Uh, Brittany Karabowski, you will always have a key to my heart. She's amazing in everything she does. Um, but there's somebody up on her tail, and that's Morgan Berry. And if you don't know who that is, you should watch the dub of Akinwono Riddle and listen to her play Tokaku and then cry that she wasn't cast as Sailor Uranus in the Sailor Moon S dub. Again, this just start outsourcing. Really? That's all you need to do to make a girl like me happy. Yeah, English dubbing. It's really great. And hello, this year we got simul dubs, which is out of this world. Like, while the anime was actually airing in Japan, three weeks later it came over here dubbed. Like, who does that? Apparently Funimation, and it seems to be working out pretty well for them. So I'm really glad that they decided to take that chance and introduce a whole new world of people behind their paywall 
to how quickly they can get a dub out and surprisingly they're not horrible like some of them are pretty good like the weeks that they came out I would definitely suggest you take another listen to some English dubs and maybe take a watch or a listen to the episodes of dub talk that I'm gonna link in the description below because I mean I'm on them but I will link you to Lilac's channel as well so you can watch all of them because let me tell you they're all pretty freaking hysterical Serum of the end check that one out yeah just do it. Your liver might not thank you, but you'll have a good time. <laughs> so English dubbing. That's my day number one on the 12 days of anime. Tell me what you thought about this video and about English dubs as a whole down in the comments below. Let me know your favorite English dub voice actor or voice actress. What's the role that you love the best, the one that sticks out in your mind? Let me know down in the comments and we'll have our little party. As always, feel free to follow me on Twitter or my anime list. My username is AnimePalooza at both places. And also, I'm going to link to you to all the participants in the 12 Days of Anime in our little Google Doc so you can check out everybody else's day one if you don't already have a subscriber feed full of videos. Until next time, love your faces. See you tomorrow!